South by Southwest is back and in person for the first time since 2019. The Music Fest kicked off today, and that means more than 1,300 artists from all over the world will be playing at more than 30 venues right here in downtown Austin. Our Dylan Scott spoke to a few local bands excited to be at South By and playing in front of a live audience again. Take a look. I am standing here with singer, songwriter, and Texas native Jake Lloyd, who is performing during South By. Thanks for taking this moment to speak with us. Now, describe your music, because I know you blend genres. A little hip-hop, a little R&B, a little alternative rock? Definitely. I would call it a uh, real eclectic um, alternative R&B with a uh, hip-hop undertone, is what I like to call it. I like sure. the sound of that. Now, I know recently KUTX said you were one of South By's artists to watch. What does that recognition mean to you? It's great. It's, uh, it's awesome to get that kind of recognition at home and uh, it being a uh, local um, radio station. It just, you know, they're really in tune with the, the, the local acts and it just, it means a lot for me. It makes me want to go out and just really shine for Austin. I love that, for representing sure. your hometown and representing Texas. Definitely. Now, let's talk a bit about the pandemic. So many artists could not perform, had to pivot, do things online. What was your experience and how great is it to be back on stage? It's funny because at the end of 2019, I think that was when we were getting the most momentum that we had had in a while. Um, so it was, it was challenging to kind of uh, switch to the online stuff for those these last couple of years but it's great to be back i feel like uh we really utilized that time um during the pandemic when everything was closed off and came out with new music so we're ready to go you know ready right. to go i know you are south by back in person first time since 2019 any nerves any jitters or are you just ready to go in that sense as well I, I, I call it, um, I never say nervous, I always say anxious. Okay. So it's more I'm just anxious and ready to get out there and, and just show what I can do. You know what I mean? Um, we've had these last couple years off and, and uh, had a whole bunch of time to just figure out what we wanted to do in the direction and now it's just time to execute time to execute you were going to execute on Wednesday at the Continental Club what can we expect from that performance uh, you can expect high energy um, a lot of different you know varieties of, of sounds and music a couple covers and some originals and just everything that you would ex expect from a Jake Lloyd show a Jake Lloyd show we're gonna have a little preview of that Jake Lloyd show right now I don't normally do this okay. but I'd like to give you my microphone if you would bless us with a little something, a little sample, a little daily can interlude, can you do that? I think I can do that. Take I it away. Woke up this morning hating myself. I hated the way I looked, the way I thought, and the way I felt. Cars on the table were poorly dealt. And joining me now is Jordan Hicks. He is already moving and grooving, and that's just because it is so electric here in downtown Austin. So many people excited about the in-person South by Southwest returning. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Woo! I had quite the weekend. Like, yeah. those, like seeing all those people. First of all, Anne Hathaway touched me twice. She I'm, touched me. This is the arm. Listen, Anne and I go yeah. way <laughs> back to Devil Wears Prada. I oh, saw that and I was so jealous. Mm. You bringing out Princess Diaries, to that took her, her back. I had to let her know. I had to let her know she's a legend. You know what I'm saying? And, and she had to, you know, hold down the fort on set. And yeah. she gave me a pretty good answer. She did that. But here's the thing. She was fun. She yes. was engaging. Yes. But she was also sending a message with the purse that That's she had right. with her. That's Tell right. us about that. So her purse had the, uh, the had the the trans flag on it. It was the the blue, the pink, the white. Had that trans flag on, and she wanted to show since she was in Texas that you know she's out here advocating for the safety of all trans kids with the, the bills going through the legislature and all that, Governor Abbott and all that good stuff. So she was here to show her support mm -hmm. for trans youth here in Texas, and I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's sending messages through yeah. their art, yeah. through their purses, yeah. and the like. Right. You also spent some time with Tony Hawk. It is amazing. 
that he even made it here. Right. He went through quite the ordeal recently. Right. He broke his femur, I believe, in four places. <laughs> and, and as a skateboarder, yeah. that's how you make your money, right? So we were very shocked to see him come to the red carpet. But he persevered. He said this was one of the hardest things he's had to do is persevere through that injury. And I'm glad that he was able to come in and take some of my silly questions. I don't know why <laughs> he, he did. Like, he was a he good was sport. Great. He was great. He's a great sport. Tony Hawk, you know, everyone loves him. That's why That's why they made the movie. That's why everybody, That's why he's a legend. Yeah. He's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. He's the GOAT. You're our GOAT. You're Ow. covering South By for us this week. Music Festival. What are you most looking forward to for the remainder of South By? I can't wait for people to see uh, my music video on uh, lines and our feelings towards them. It's sort of a, a, a recreation of what we did last year for all of my seasoned viewers. Mm -hmm. uh, I also want people to get inside of that Creative Industries Expo. I got a chance to get in there Sunday and play around with a bunch of stuff in there. They're going to love the journey that we took inside the Creative Industries Expo. It's going to be great. And plus, more a local artists, yes. putting on more Austin artists here during South by Southwest. This is their big chance, you were talking about it earlier, to get put on the biggest stages. And I love watching it because, yeah. you know, if I cover you first and you get big, you know what I'm Remember us, all right. So glad to have you with us.